Good day YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick comparison video between Ubuntu 20.04 on the left, latest release, and Kubuntu 20.04, also latest release on the right. So this video has probably been a bit of a long time in coming, so I thought I'd get into it now. And starting off, having a bit of a look at it, we can see that there are some immediate differences straight off the bat. So the Ubuntu uh, version here is using the desktop environment, that is the GNOME desktop environment, with uh, spliced in with a bit of a um, Ubuntu flavor or feel to it there, like the old Unity desktop of uh, years gone by. Whereas uh, Kubuntu, on the other hand, where the K uh, actually, of course, stands for the, the KDE Plasma desktop environment, is uh, it's been around for a while. A lot of people do seem to like it. It's um, it's been one that's uh, been a little bit more easier on the eyes, a bit more uh, gooey, a bit nicer to look at. Basically, there fairly fully featured as well. Comes with widgets and all things of all nature there as well. So that's been quite good. Oh, I could actually load that back up there. We've got a clock. Let's chuck a clock on here, and there we go. But um, if we were to get into it a little bit further, we could have a bit of a look at the... Uh, actually, no, before I go ahead, I'll let you know, since they are both 20.04, that does mean they're both based off the Ubuntu 20.04 long-term service release. So you can install it once and keep it running on the same machine for the next five years without any real hardcore big updates that are required, except for the security ones and a few uh, little bug fixes here and there for the most part. If we were to have a look at the uh, the file manager and see what's going on there, let's load it up. So, on the left hand side, we have the uh, the files uh, file manager here. So, if we go to have a look at it about files, very very standard for uh, for Ubuntu. So, nothing to really write home about there. On the other side, if I can properly find it, I'm not really great at moving between things on Ubuntu, but uh, let's go to the Dolphin File Manager. So it's been around for quite some time, very fully featured there as well. Probably not as easy on the eyes as I would expect it to be perhaps, um, but otherwise still fairly good there. Uh, let's see, we've got the actions of Open in a Terminal here, which is really good. I do like to see that there as well. And moving on, uh, let's see what else we've got. So in terms of software, everything that you can really mostly expect. It has all the uh, the browser apps, the graphics apps, uh, LibreOffice, so the Office apps there as well, all the open source ones. Same basic thing when it comes to Kubuntu as well, although they do have a lot of, uh, of their own versions of things like their text editor, starts with K, just going along with what it is, their system monitor, K sysguard. Similar in nature, but again, just their own version of what they like to do. It does look quite similar still, I've got to say. Uh, and all those applications as well, multimedia, internet, graphics, uh, home office apps, or you've got your LibreOffice, your writer, that kind of thing there. But uh, that's all good there and solid. If we were to just have a bit of a squeeze around and have a look at the, the usage, now, uh, we are actually pretty heavily running on about a gigabyte of RAM, which isn't quite normal, I suspect, for Ubuntu. It usually is optimized to be a bit better, so not exactly a, a great uh, test here, just from my own experience. But otherwise, these are booted up from scratch, and uh, we have about 700 megabytes of RAM for the Kubuntu, which is really good. It used to be a lot more uh, heavy in its design, a uh, heavyweight operating system, or should I say desktop environment. But yeah, it's definitely come a long way uh, since then. So it is a little bit snappier in my field than it used to be. Could probably go a bit of a ways more, but hey, what can you do? But that's pretty much it, guys, in a bit of a nutshell. Just a bit of a quick comparison look between Ubuntu 20.04 on the left and Kubuntu 20.04 on the right. So thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a comment, subscribe. Thanks for all your support, and I hope to see you there in the next one. Cheers.